With Hush, we're taking songs that have been written 400 years ago, we strip them to their bare basics and we try to place them back in the time where we are now. And by doing that, showing how timeless the music is. I always notice that these songs actually speak to lots of people, also people who are not used to listening to classical music. You might have never even heard of Dowland. I think you even thought it was a football player. <laughs> Dissecting these songs really brought me very close to these composers, even though they've been dead for hundreds of years. And at some points I would think, this could be the Beach Boys, you know? of the songs are super timeless. They're actually exactly about the same things that most pop songs are about today, which is love. Either you're in love, or you're out of love, or you're dumped. Or you're dating somebody for just one night. Purcell was a dirty, had a dirty mind for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're voting back be night. No, none but the In general, the whole thing has a very big intimacy, closeness. Yeah, for, for me, a Hush concert is about uh, it being intimate, but also it being very accessible, about enjoying music in a very basic way, really. It's not about thinking too much, it's about uh, feeling or experiencing more. Yeah, and it's, it's very nice to see that the way we enjoy these songs now actually is not very far from the way they probably enjoyed songs 400 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 